Hello everybody, I did something that's pretty cool. Yes, you're looking at cassette tapes that hold Game Boy games. I got Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Much like everyone else who collects these consoles, I had a problem with storing them. Well, I actually didn't, but they're getting a little bit too much space. And I was like, I want to display them so I can see what games I have. Much like my DS games, and 3DS games. The only problem was that they were... Uh, with those games, that I also am missing cases for some of those games because you find them loose all the time because people don't keep their cases. Anyway, the thing about these games is that they came in boxes. Here's what a box looks like, in case you're wondering. This is not a Game Boy box, this is a Switch box. I actually do have a. Only one of these games actually had in the box, which is this one right here, Book Money Yellow, which is cool. But yeah, they're extremely rare to find. Plus, I don't really collect box games because it's just it's so expensive. And I just want to play the game. Have it so I can display. If I want to display, I want to display it like this. I can easily take it out. Boxes, and they're not so easy to take out. So yeah, these are the games. So I made these custom made. I'm gonna pull up one yellow since I already did that. I had a custom made these self. I used a template. Um, I forget the template it is easy to look on a YouTube. So this is not how to make it, but. It's not too hard to make. There is like much of stuff on how to make these online. Not a lot, but the first thing you find should give you the correct stuff. And really, I just use this template because they didn't have a lot of ones that uh they didn't have a lot of pr printable ones. So they had a basically Game Boy, Game of Color, Game of Advance template. He put cover, you have it here on side art, which is stuff I have done in the past. It wasn't hard for me. If you have Photoshop or any other program like that, I don't use Photoshop. I use GIMP. Because it's cheap and Adobe had a problem. I have a lot of problems with Adobe. So I don't do graphic arts anymore because Adobe sucks. That's a whole different story. But here's Pokemon Yo. Nice box art. I didn't do any gloss or anything like that. Just a regular uh, one because the uh, the thing's already kind of... The plastic's already makes it look glossy. I'm not that picky about it. Even these these prints are the highest quality prints. They could be higher. Have, it just, it's just a lucky that I even got printed out in the first place, to be honest. Side art, yellow, and they have this nice little back art for this part. And there's the cartridge. Fortunately, I don't know how that happened, but part of it's faded. That's actually how I think that I got a pony yellow open box. But yeah, for uh, let me open that up. I face all them back so you look at the back and see the label. One yellow, there's the little insert. It's not perfect, but it's just a crude high main one. I might actually sell one just to see. I think it would be interesting then. Um, they're pretty easy to make. Spray it out. For the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, you gotta, you gotta clip the, uh, the bomb piece for a prong, which I did. But yeah, the Game Boy Advance, you don't have to do that. So let's show you all my games, because that's mostly it, but. Yeah. So that was the cassettes. Thank you for uh, watching, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to show you what games I have, just because, since I already have them out. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! I never played this game, I just I got it randomly one time, for free, or something like that. But yeah, there's the game. And the GBA I put right in the middle, it, it's a little more, it's a little, not really hard, but it's a little, it's not as convenient to put it in, as the Game Boy ones. They kind of slide out, the, the, the little... Sweat. So this isn't the best fit, but I like how they can be small fit and the little charm to it. So it's actually not that hard. You just put it in the middle and it will fit in. It doesn't really move around that much. So that's why I like doing that. The little tongs work perfectly. Like I said, for these, you can get uh, these online. By side, since I was impatient, plus I can refurb it, refit uh, old cassettes. Because my third store that I go to all the time has a bunch of them. I was like, why as well just do that rather than, uh, you know, go my way to buy them. This one is not in there because it's in my uh, Game Boy Advance right now. It's WarioWare Inc. I just got this game recently and I've been playing a lot of it because it's pretty good. Just like this, just, it looks really nice. Some of these I got from the uh, Car Project has sort of like side labels. Some of them had to create my own. Sometimes I actually had to edit some of them, just like change it. So I'll let you know if I did anything interesting about them. Some of these are just, so it's kind of full. We can just have fully custom versions. But these look kind of official, you know, in a way. And it's WarioWare Inc. 
Here's our Wario Land 4. Game Boy Advance. There's the game. I, before I had them flipped for the, when you open it up to be front facing, but it just, I think it looks much better. You can see, look in the back, like, oh, there's the game. Yes, it does. Treasure Planet. Didn't play much of this game. I just think my fiance picked it up for like cheap. There it is. These look so close, cool. like, I'll just show them off. That's what I'm doing. Nice spine. Here we go. I have a lot of GBA games, let's just say that. Tetris World. Unfortunately, this one had a crack in it. I didn't really... First round, I got cassette tapes. So I didn't really look them that well, and yes, some weren't as good. Here's Tetris World. It's basic Tetris, you know. I think this cartridge I found, like someone's dog chewed on it or something. <laughs> Sonic Battle. I'm not the biggest fan of this spine. Looks like I might reprint some of these. One of them, definitely. So I got an itch. I'm definitely gonna reprint. You know, I'll get to, we're getting that game soon. Sonic Battle. This is an okay game. I'm not the biggest fan of the mechanics, but you know. I think it's kinda expensive now. Sonic Advance 3. You see some of these games in my uh, Sonic collection. I'm in another case. 3. Uh, another question you might guys have is what about bigger cartridges like the Game Boy Camera or the WarioWare Twisted? I have no idea. I think stuff like Drill Dozer would probably work, but uh, those two games I doubt. You, it depends because these are not that thick. Here's Sonic Advance. I don't have Sonic Advance 2. I really need one Sonic Advance 2. This spot's kind of weird because they came with this. He has Venture Pose, but is that in the actual boxer? Because that doesn't really fit. It's cool when I'll look. Sonic Advance. Here's the Game Boy Color game. We got Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown. This is just a ridiculous game. I like how choose. I have to customize this color here for this back part. Like, I choose where it fits the like boxer or the thing. This is actually a uh, first ever Shrek game. I'm collecting a bunch of early Shrek merchandise. Actually, I'm going to try, even there's a lot of them, I'm going to try to collect, have a full Shrek game collection just because that could be fun. Uh, one of my favorites, Pokemon Fire Red. This is completely customized because I couldn't find there's the, the template they act. This one person had a bunch of Pokemon templates, so I used them. You'll see one of them. And their Fire Red was had didn't have this Charizard frame, which is what, the, what I recognize as the Fire Red cover. So like, that's kind of weird. So I had to get find one and had to add the uh, stuff for it. Fire Red. So this is pretty much pretty, pretty mine. There's my well loved cartridge. There's Pokemon Emerald, and these Pokemon games are ridiculous, or really expensive, like, they sold a well, so it's surprising how expensive they are. I get stuff like XD and Co Sim, like, they weren't as well-known or popular, but these these games, like, they're, like, really popular, and they're actually the best-selling games on the console, so it's surprising how expensive they are. There's Emerald. Here's the one I'm not a big fan of, they use a template, front looks fine, Pokemon Crystal. This side is, like, one, they, uh, just not relate... To the other ones they made, like it's it's Pokemon and Crystal on top of each other. They love empty space compared to the uh, this one here and the yellow we saw earlier. And also the the color here for some reason is smaller than the other ones. I don't know why that is because it came with that was the same template form that the other ones were in. So I don't know how that's even a thing. But I'm gonna have to reprint it just because of that. This doesn't look right. Mostly the top part. So yeah, just that spline problem. They also have this weird, like, crap here, I guess, for additional stuff. Like I said, I didn't bother to put anything here, because this doesn't really matter. There's Crystal. Here's Pokemon Red. I don't have all the Pokemon games. Uh, I'm, actually, half the games I own, and half the games my brother owns. So, he owns I own Red, he owns Blue, uh, stuff like that. We actually don't have, none of us have Gold, though, so, just Silver. Here's Red. Like I said, all the the Game Boy games, the the Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Yeah, this part is trimmed. Pretty easy to put in. You kind of slide it in there, fold it. It's hard to do one hand, but you know, this is a uh, Miss Pac Man Color Edition. 
very hot pink. Here's something I did. Uh, there was there's kind of, I felt there was like I had to make this custom side thing, and I started to add. Yeah, make add a little this Pac-Man from the front here. Adds a little charm to that. I like that. I didn't do it for Pac-Man World because thought it was in, I guess enough. Plus, this would be a little weird to have on the front, but Pac-Man World and Game Boy Advance. They just add the remaster of the console version, but this is just like this is the uh, portable version. Here is the weirdest game I own. The vet New Ventures of Mary Kay and Ashley. I found this for really cheap, so that's why I picked it up. It doesn't look too bad. It's very purpley. And there's the game. Yeah, weird. I have some weird stuff in my collection. Oops, those all fall. Here is a great Mario Kart game. I love all the Mario Kart games, but we don't really talk about this one. This one's really good. Pick it up if you have the chance. Especially so your friend of Mario Kart. Pretty much all the Mario Kart games are good. I love them all. And yeah, this one's pretty underrated. I won't say it's the best, but I would actually prefer it over 64. I know that's a... 64 is my least favorite, to be honest. I know it's a big thing to say, but yeah, I like, I like, I like this game a lot more. It's not even just worse bad, but I feel like mechanical-wise, I just don't like the feel of it compared to other ones. I mean, Mario Kart Super Circuit, love this game. One of my uh, favorite GBA games. We're in the Mario games now. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Pretty good game. Then we got the Mario Advance game. They're actually missing Mario Advance 2, so I'm missing Sonic Advance 2 and Mario Advance 2. So here's Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. I actually found this game, got this game for free. I found it like a long time ago in, in a Game Boy that was left out in the park. Believe me or not. Couldn't find the owner, so we just kept it, I guess. Don't know what happened to the Game Boy, but the game, still have it. It's the first time I ever played Mario 3, too. Hmm. It's weird they call them the Vance series, and they're just basically remasters of the old, like I said, older games. Like I said, I don't have Mario Advance, I have Mario Advance 3 here, Yoshi's Island. Got a lot of this. And here's another one I added. There was nothing on the side, so I added a Yoshi Me Mario. And this one had on the spine as Fire Mario, no Snooki Mario. Or here was like Mario in a trash game, which didn't make any sense. Was that in the game ever? I don't know. So I just got rid of it because it, oh, it looked pretty trashy. <laughs> Here's Mario, just Mario Advance. It's weird they called Mario 2 remake Raster or Mario Advance, but you know. Pretty cool spine. There's the game. Out of Mario, Mario Advance territory, we got Mario Land 2, first appearance of Wario, six golden coins. This game, if everyone talks about this game, they'll always talk about how this game is very underrated. And yes, that is true. This is a really great Mario game on Game Boy. If you don't, if you have a Game Boy, this is one of the games you have to pick up. It is totally worth it. Not only just because it's the first appearance of Wario, but it's a really fun game. It's kind of like Mario World on the go, but not like a deport of it. It's like a has the Mario World feel because it came out at the same time. Highly recommend. And again, Mario Land Two without Mario Land One. It's kind of like the Mario, right, the first Mario game on Game Boy. It's not bad. It has some fans. First appearance of Daisy. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I've much preferred the sequel over it. But yeah, I actually had this little eight bit Mario because I thought it looked. Because I need something in. I thought, yeah, that looks good. Here's a weird game. I just got this recently. Madagascar and Shrek 2 2 in 1 Fun Pack. These are two games you put in one. DreamWorks Games did a couple of these stuff, I believe. They even have their movie based games, which, if you know anything about those, they, uh, the 2 in 1, or, or it was a bad idea for the movie cards. I need to pick up the Shrek movie pack one, but they're like really expensive. It allowed me to create this really cool looking spine, though. Yeah, in case you're wondering, that is a real game. Look at that spine. I played the uh, sixth generation console version of these games a lot as a kid. They were like the first games I ever played, so yeah. It is weird because they are they basically use the same models pixelized for the games. So it's pretty interesting in that point. Here's my only Zelda game on Game Boy. I should probably pick up more. Link's Awakening, just the regular one, not the DX. Alright, game. I'm not as big a fan of it as other people are, but I think it's okay. And, first Kirby game. I don't have the other one, so I just have the first one. Dreamland. No one's about that game. Kirby can't use comic ability, so it's not really that fun. I got the Incredibles Game Boy Advance. This one I was also playing at the time, because I was testing it out, so that's why it's not in there. Love that movie. The game's okay. 
This is one I don't have because my fiance has it, but and she picked it up too, but I made a copy cover for it anyway. It's Hi Hi Puffy Yami Yumi Kaznat. I just, I think I saw the show one time. I know these people apparently did the Teen Titans theme, and that's about it. So, yeah, they have this. This is a more unique case, I guess, because I mean, people are going to have that. This one I got to do two for one, because I, yes, I have the same game, but for different console. I have Harry Potter, Chamber Secrets, like Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color. The only Harry Potter games I have on these games are the same one. And yeah, it's weird. They're completely different games, still. I remember thinking, like, what? Yeah, I had the uh, console version, GameCube. It's actually the first Harry Potter game. I don't know why it's always Chamber Secrets for me. It's not even my favorite Harry Potter. I like it, but it's not nowhere near my favorite. But yeah, there's the Game Boy Advance one. I think I just show it off. It's just weird. And Game Boy Color. Though, from whatever, everyone is telling you that, yes, the Game Boy Color version is better. It's a unique RPG. I think the Prisoner Ask one is the best one, but I never, don't have that, obviously. Gauntlet Rampart, pretty weird. Just a few classic arcade games. I had to custom make this side cover. Kind of imitating the cover where that shows the screen card from the game. I kind of did that there. I like it. Both are not bad games, but they're not really worth a GBA card for both of them, to be honest. One of the last two games, we got Donkey Kong Country on Game Boy Color. I didn't even know this game existed. I knew about Donkey Kong Land, I knew about Donkey Kong Country on Game Boy Advance, but on Game Boy Color, I did not know about. But yeah, yeah I was surprised they picked it up, and it's Donkey Kong Country on Game Boy Color. It's a pretty good port for a Game Boy Color game. There it is, the green, the forest. You should pick up the uh, Game Boy Advance version. Hmm. And here's the last one. There's another game my fiance picked up for herself, I guess. Atlantis Lost Empire. Not a big fan of the movie. And the game is also shit. And there you go. And there you have all my Game Boy games in, in their cassette form. I will definitely play cl collecting more now that I can that I can do this and display them. Because these look amazing. So yeah, go to if you want to do this, there's a templates online if you're good at graphic arts. You can go make some yourself. If not, I'll maybe link some of these. If you're interested, I'll I'll probably link something in the description where you can download some of the ones I made already. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a swell day.